Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're in our retail store here at our mask and fin stand. We're going to talk about foot pockets. Not one type, there's many different types. Foot pockets are very much like shoes. There's not one style that fits everybody. Also the size range aren't quite as flexible as that of shoes. So they are often set up two sizes to one foot pocket. This one 47, 48. Another brand will show 46 to 48. There's many variables there as well in terms of the width, the stiffness of the foot. So the best is to try a foot pocket that fits you best. It's not about a specific brand, it's what's going to work for you. If you have the wrong foot pocket and it's hurting you, you're not going to enjoy your dive. So try and fit what works for you. Majority of divers these days use the closed foot pocket for spearfishing, free diving, not the scuba type with straps. Those are a, another type of fin, definitely more suited for scuba diving, but not really good for spearfishing because of the buckles and components that can foul with your shooting line, your reel line, your float line. When shore diving, going through the surf, sand can get inside you. If you don't have a sock or a neoprene sock, that can get in between your toes and cause major chafing. This can really upset the next few days of diving because your feet are so chewed up from the sand. So it's always best to wear a sock of some type. Most guys use neoprene. Advantage of neoprene, it's totally closed. No fine grains can get through. A, a standard sock is usable, it's better than nothing, but the fine silt can get through the, the weave of the sock material itself, and that will also cause chafing. So the best is always to wear a neoprene sock. The problem with a neoprene sock is it has thickness. You get two mil, three mil, five mil. The thickness you're gonna use will also vary depending on water temperature, but also to compensate for the variation in fits. As I've mentioned, most foot pockets are a broader range. One actual mold will be two sizes. So you can vary that fit by changing the thickness of the neoprene sock as well. The best fit of sock is a really snug fit. If you look on my foot here, there's no folds anywhere. The joints are exactly at the back of the heel. Make sure they fit really nice and snug. You don't want a loose fit that bunches up when you put the foot pocket on. These specific socks have harder material on the bottom faces if you're walking on the beach, over rocks. They are much more durable. When fitting, You'll see there, there was no bunching. Everything fits fine. This one, a little bit on the loose side. To compensate, I can go to a slightly thicker sock, maybe a five mil. So here's one of our Scorpio fins. That fits well, not too snug. Maybe a little bit on the loose side. If I put the foot down on the ground and I push down, you'll see bulging on the side. Most people will see that and say, wow, that's probably way too loose. That's because the foot pocket itself has a curve to it. You don't want to trial it by pushing down hard on the ground because this will open up. In water, that won't happen. As soon as I lift it off the ground, that goes away. For me, this size, slightly loose because I can pull my heel up and out. I would have to go to a thicker sock or wear a fin guard. Most of you are aware of these that are on the market. These are rubber fin keepers, guards. We make a strapped version with a Velcro. This we find is much more adjustable. There's no stretch in it. So these rubber type, you would have to slide up your leg first and then pull the strap over to keep it in place. The version we make with webbing, you can clip on after you put the fin in. There is a three bar buckle and a Velcro. That you can adjust exactly how you want it. This will not only keep it snug and in place, but also prevent it coming off if you get dumped in the surf. You'll see that now, I can't step out of it.
Another advantage of the webbing top is while swimming through big surf, you can tension it up quite tight just to make sure it doesn't come off, getting you through the surf. Once you're out, things have calmed down, slacken off the Velcro a little bit if it feels too tight. If I go to the next size down, it will still get onto my foot. So the next size down fits fairly well and feels pretty comfortable. If I push down on it, it still has a slight bulge, but I'm finding it quite tight here. I have, I have a fairly broad foot. This, while fitting now, doesn't feel too bad. But after two or three hours in the water, this crimping here could reduce blood flow on the sides of the foot and create a burning sensation. That's extremely uncomfortable. So try and find a foot pocket that does not compress too tight. My foot is very wide there. Some of the other foot pockets, this is a pathos, tends to be a tad wider in that zone. This is probably better for my shape of foot. Generally, the Italian foot pockets are a lot narrower in this zone. So a person who has a narrower foot would be more comfortable in this type of foot pocket. On a side note, most foot pockets these days have a hard sole. They're not as flexible as the older types in the old days. You'll see they're all very firm on the sole. That's for a good reason. You don't want this area to flex too much. When you kick down, if that heel bent a lot, you'll load the foot much more. You want to be able to drive down with your heel. You'll see that here. There's actually two types of rubber. This one that looks more matte is the softer to make it more comfortable, but the smoother one here is much harder. It's very difficult to flex this bottom piece. There is some movement, but it holds the shape much better. So you're able to drive with your heel, which makes a huge difference. So one of the reasons why they have uh, a fewer range in sizes, in other words, two sizes to one mold, is the cost of molding. These rubber foot pockets especially are extremely expensive to make a mold. And it's not like a shoe where there's millions of potential buyers. In the diving industry, there's not that many. So they tend to try and group them into four or five or at most six different size variations. That's how they can mix and match. Also, they are somewhat flexible and you do have that ability to use a neoprene sock to vary slightly. So that's the reason why there's not that big a variety of sizes available in foot pockets these days. So in conclusion, try different foot pockets to get something that fits your foot shape. It's just like any pair of shoes, not all shoes fit exactly the same. You will find a brand that's suitable for your foot and your diving style. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you.